Desde aquí Los Ángeles Welcome to the Zeki Los Angeles on behalf of your internet channel, thezekitv.com. My name is Shadi Valenzuela and today's topic is on global warming. Our guest today is Raul Gina. Hi. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I am a fourth year environmental science and engineering major at UCLA, uh, getting ready to graduate in June and looking forward to going to graduate school at UCLA, of course. So. Cool. Okay, let's talk a little bit about global warming. What are the causes of global warming? Well, the main cause of global warming is the uh, excessive uh, anthropogenic emissions of carbon dioxide that we have been experiencing over the past 150 years. Um, of course, carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere, was present within the atmosphere without humans, you know, interfering with it. But lately, since the Industrial Revolution, this has skyrocketed. Okay. What, um, what is the role of greenhouse effect in our planet right now? Well, what the greenhouse effect does is it keeps our planet at an ambient temperature uh, that is perfect, I would say, for sustaining life. I mean, that's, this is what has caused, uh, you know, the, caused our civilization to evolve into uh, the civilization that it is today. Uh, the way the greenhouse effect works is solar radiation uh, hits the earth, um, it gets uh, transformed into heat or uh, thermal energy and it gets, uh, it gets sent back into the atmosphere. Um, in the atmosphere it gets absorbed by CO2, by CO2 particles, carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases and it gets shot back in all different directions, some of them actually back into the earth and that's what causes the planet to stay at the warm temperature that it is more CO2 particles or more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere could actually cause this to increase, this effect to increase and go beyond levels uh, to excessive hot levels, yes. Okay. Um, with all these really high temperatures, how exactly can this process affect life on Earth? Well, as you said, uh, the, the, the process could cause the temperatures to increase to very high levels, but um, in plants, animals are adapted to the level that they are at right now. Um, the increase in temperature could cause them to uh, not be as well prepared, to not, be, to not be able to adapt as fast as the temperature is actually increasing. Another effect is um, the CO2 in our, in our oceans. Mm -hmm. uh, if CO2 is in the atmosphere, and since the ocean is in, in, in balance with the atmosphere, the ocean actually sucks up some of the CO2 from the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. This causes the ocean to acidify and can lead to potential coral uh, destruction or other species in the ocean to potentially perish. Okay. What are the steps that we can take to preserve our environment. I know before leaving my place all the time, I always make sure that all the electronics are plugged out. Oh no, that's, oh, that's actually a great uh, beginning step. Um, I mean, unplugging your electronics before you leave your house, uh, of course, taking shorter showers, um, if, if possible, uh, installing solar panels on your house, mm -hmm. uh, you know, anything that, that could potentially help. I mean, having solar panels on your house can actually bring you some sort of benefit, some sort of profit, because uh, you can generate more electricity than your house actually needs, and you can sell that electricity back to electricity companies. Okay. Um, also, another step could be uh, for the actual electricity companies to shift from the, the, the dirty fossil fuels that they use and... Uh, move towards more renewable energy sources such as solar, uh, solar power and wind power. Um, I know you were talking about a website that people can um, go on to get further information about this. What is it? Uh, yes, the, the Environmental Protection Agency actually has a great uh, website. It's, uh, I believe, www.epa.gov. Um, and uh, a lot of the information that we spoke about today is actually on that website. They have steps to, uh, that each individual can take to prevent climate, war uh, climate, climate change. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, just different. 
Well, very well said. Thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure having you here in the studio with thank us you, thank you. and learning a lot more about this matter. Um, for our viewers, thank you so much for watching. This is the Zeki Los Angeles. On behalf of your internet channel, thezekitv.com, my name is Shadi Valenzuela. Until next time. Desde aquí, Los Ángeles.